improve to be as well. Um, I'm kind of watching the doorway because I was hoping that Lion Ted would be here by now. And I spoke to Patty, um, Patty Hughes about two hours ago and she was going to do everything she could to get him here. Uh, but I'm not sure he's going to make it. So I'm going to get started because I think we might run out. See anything out there, Frank? Nope. No? Okay. In my car? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the garage. <laughs> you have to move it to the right well, side. Left, yeah, you have to move it to the right side. Uh, I feel very honored to have the opportunity uh, to introduce a lion that has done so much for our beloved high school, so much for our community, and so much for our Lions Club. Uh, this lion has served as a teacher, a coach, a bus driver, a dean, an assistant principal, and a principal. And of course I've given it away. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, our own Ted Simonson. Ted spent 47 years at Las Gatas High School. During that 47 years, he did not use a single sick day. He was at work every day for 47 years. That's amazing. Ted, what are you guys laughing about back there? I thought Ted. that was part of the deal as a teacher. You take these sick leaves. But that's okay. That's not a good attitude. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're suspended. Uh, Ted created the school motto, and the school motto is, is one of the most wonderful ones I've ever seen. And it is, of course, honesty of purpose and intensity of effort. Ted's personal motto was even more beautiful, I think. Between friends, there is no giving or taking, just sharing. It's Ted's personal motto. Ted Simonson, Patty <coughs> Hughes, and Al Simon worked together as administrators at Las Gatas High School for 25 years. I, I don't know where to begin to investigate this, but I, I have a feeling if we were able to investigate, we would probably find that no other administrative group had that length of tenure in the state of California, and maybe much further than that, maybe as far as the Rockies, maybe as far as the Atlantic Ocean. I've just never heard of an administrative <coughs> team being together for that length of time. Especially in this day and age, it's, it's surprising to have an administrator be in a school for more than three or four years before they move on. They were a great team. They supported each other. They were wonderful communicators. They lived in the community, uh, and they lived at the high school. During that time, Las Gatas High School, with, under their leadership, earned two California Distinguished School Awards very difficult to get, and even more difficult, they earned two national, national Blue Ribbon Awards. Ted was not afraid to say it like it is. In fact, I think around the 60s, and, and some of you probably would have better recollection, recollection of this than I, I would, uh, Ted said drugs are part of the school. He was way ahead of his time. You can't hope to resolve an issue until you have the courage to identify it. Ted was never afraid to identify an issue. And of course, what he did was he created a dialogue. And the only way that you can ever get to the bottom of something is be able to discuss it and talk about it and be open about it. On the other side of it, kind of a less serious matter, at least for Las Gatas, is when Saratoga High School opened up, Ted, Ted had been a business teacher, and Ted's responsibility was to order all of the furniture and equipment and materials for Saratoga High School. So he did that. And that's, that's a big job. Opening a new school is, is a huge job, besides what he was doing already at Las Gatas High School. I, I, I think a few descriptive terms for Ted would be just a few. Honesty, wisdom, courage, resilience, dedication, caring. How could a guy that's so tough be so caring? The guy has a heart that is just out of his chest. 
And I'd like to restate <coughs> wisdom and courage. He never could have lasted in the business that he was in for so long without those. And of course, his great team, Patty Hughes and Al Simon, they were so complimentary of one another. <coughs> but we're so fortunate to have him in our community and so fortunate to have him in our Lions Club. And uh, the video is, is a tribute to Ted, so enjoy.